Good day, students, and welcome to News in English with Tutor Tom. It's the 6th of September 2023, and today we have a very funny and light-hearted article, which is jam-packed and full of some really great words to add to your vocabulary, as we'll go through later on in the video. But let's go through the article. The heading of the article is Claude the Koala Unmasked as prolific plant thief in Australia. So let's go through the main body of the article. As you can see here, this is Claude the koala. If you didn't know what a koala was, it's a type of animal found in Australia. So let's go through the article. Okay, so for weeks on end, Australian nursery owner Humphrey Harrington has been racking his brain to identify the elusive thief eating his seedlings. At first, he thought it was escaped goats, then perhaps a pesky possum. The last thing he expected was to walk into work one day and find a cheeky koala, dazed and too stuffed to move, surrounded by stripped eucalypt plants. He looked like he was full. He looked very pleased with himself, Mr. Harrington told the BBC. Staff are now building a koala-proof fence around their seedling tables to thwart the marsupial, dubbed Claude, whose snacking on several thousand plants has cost the nursery £3,000 or 6000 Australian dollars. Ironically, the plants Claude devoured were being grown to boost koala habitats in the region. The species is endangered. The team at Eastern Forest Nursery near Lismore in northern New South Wales, had first noticed plants were being chewed a few months ago. There weren't really any signs. There were no tracks or anything to indicate what it could have been, Mr. Harrington said. It was a mystery. They set a possum trap to no avail and even examined animal droppings for clues but the culprit was only caught when they became a little too greedy. We came out to work one morning and there he was, sitting there on a pole. And there were lots of plants missing that morning. I guess that day he must have had a really big feed and was too tired to go back to his tree. With Claude unmasked as the leaf thief, Mr. Harrington gently wrapped him in a towel and moved him to some trees about 300 metres from the nursery. But a couple of days later, he came back and continued with his nightly visits, he said. But Mr. Harrington isn't mad. He's rather amused. Koalas aren't exactly known for their agility or ingenuity. I just couldn't believe that it was a koala, he said. I was shocked, but I was also a little bit impressed. Tinged with that, though, is concern. I've been here for 20 odd years and this hasn't really happened before, Mr. Harrington said. Is it that there is a shortage of food? In 2022, koalas were listed as endangered among most of Australia's east coast after a dramatic decline in numbers. The once thriving marsupial has been ravaged by land clearing, bushfires drought, disease and other threats. In 2021, a New South Wales inquiry found koalas would be extinct there by 2050 unless there was urgent action. There may be as few as 50,000 of the animals left in the wild, some conservation groups say. OK, so this is a really enjoyable article, but it's got so many fantastic words that we're going to go through quite a lot right now to really add to your vocabulary. So the first one is the word racking, racking or the phrase racking his brain. And that is to think very hard in order to try to remember something or solve a problem. So, for example, I've been racking my brain but I can't remember his name. That's the word racking or the phrase racking his brain. The next word is elusive, elusive. And that's difficult to find, catch or achieve. Success will become 
ever more elusive is a great example of using the word elusive. Seedlings. What was the thing that the koala was eating? It was called seedlings. And seedlings are a young plant, especially one raised from seed and not from a cutting. So that's what seedlings are. Cheeky. Cheeky is a word that is showing a lack of respect or politeness in a way that is amusing or appealing, such as a cheeky grin. Really great word, cheeky. Dazed. Dazed means unable to think or react properly. So, for example, I was left dazed and confused. That's the word dazed. The next one is stuffed. Now, stuffed can mean a number of different things. You could have a toy which is stuffed with fabric, but in the context of this article, it was more to um, it was more related to having um, been full of food. So the koala had stuffed himself with lots of the seedlings. So stuff means full of something, stuffed of eucalyptus and other plants that he was eating at the nursery. So that's the word stuffed. Thwart. Thwart means to prevent someone from accomplishing something. For example, he never did anything to thwart his father. That's the word thwart, to prevent someone from accomplishing something. Ironically, ironically, in a way that is different or opposite from the result you would expect. For example, ironically, his ability as an inventor made him a poor administrator and he had one business failure after another. So that's the word ironically, a really beautiful word. Next is the word agility, and that is the ability to move quickly and easily. An example being Though he was without formal training as a dancer or athlete, his physical agility was fantastic, inexhaustible. Ingenuity, another, another word that I absolutely adore, I love. And if you start to use some of these words in your conversations, your English conversations and in your English exams, it's going to be very, very impressive. So ingenuity, what is it? It's the quality of being clever, original and inventive. So, for example, considerable ingenuity must be employed in writing software. A lovely word, ingenuity. And then finally, we finish with the word ravaged. Ravaged, and that means severely damaged or devastated. For example, he hopes to visit his ravaged homeland. So I hope you enjoyed today's article. Uh, very lighthearted, very funny, very enjoyable and absolutely stacked with lots of great words. So again, add to your vocabulary to enrich your English speaking. Catch you on the next video. Speak to you soon.